What's going on guys? Welcome to High Stakes. Today we are going to be cooking, cooking, baking? What would you call this? It's a mixture of sizzling, <laughs> yeah. baking. We are going to be baking a steak in a pizza oven. But that's the last thing that we're gonna be doing. Yes. Three of the same steaks, and we're gonna try three different methods of cooking this steak to see which is the best. Wow. Wow? Wow. <laughs> While we talk about how fatherhood has changed us, I got three ways that fatherhood has changed me. Being a dad has changed me. Positive things. Positive. Oh, we're doing positive? <laughs> I came with negative. You could do negative things. But before we get into any of that, time to do, uh, yeah, yeah. What? I'm feeling my dry, mouth is. Dry mouth? Yeah, dry. <laughs> I think the mouth is dry. And yes. we need to solve that. Yes. Right? We yes. need to uh, select our libations. Libations? I like that word. Define libation. A drink poured out as an offering to a deity. <laughs> okay. Pouring out of a drink is an offering. A drink. Okay, well, <laughs> close enough. Oh. Okay, look at this. This one immediately attracts my attention. Belgian style wheat ale. We have that. There's a little castle Ooh, I'll right do that in the one. front. Give me that one. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like okay. Ales. Well, let's, let's get a good shot of it first. This is a Belgian style wheat ale. Um, it's from. Belgium. QC. Quebec? That's QB. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't know. I've tried this before. It's called Dragon's Milk. I legit really liked this. Then you can't have it. You gotta try new stuff, bro. It's been years. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't tried it on this channel. Okay. <laughs> and there's a dragon on the front, bro. All right, I'll allow Come on, there's a dragon. I'll allow Who else is gonna drink this? Bourbon barrel aged. Oh, stout, stouts, bro. That's what's wrong with stouts. That's some Viking stuff. That ain't me. Short and stout. Cheers. Cheers. All Do you right. want to try this one? Yeah. Afterwards. Ooh. Ooh. It's definitely got chocolate notes and coffee. Yeah. Well, because you're reading it. <laughs> you don't read it. What? I, 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 don't I thought you were pretending to like. Mm, I can taste the chocolates. <laughs> Like, bro, if you're trying to trick us that you can I'm not taste. trying to be anyone right now, dude. I'm just trying to read, all right? <laughs> the way you were doing it, I was like, is he trying to like, taste it, but he's reading it? <laughs> Roasted malt delivers notes of coffee and chocolate married with sweet undertones. Undertones, that's another one we should use. Of vanilla and oak from a three-month stay in bourbon barrels to create a truly legendary blend of 11%. This is like wine, bro. This one's good. I like this one. There's no cool description. Mm. That's refreshing. Yeah. That one's not refreshing. Oh, that one's, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. This feels like uh, spicy. Spicy? No, no, spicy in the, in the, you know, in the true sense of the word spicy. Like cinnamon and nutmeg and. Oh, okay. Of spice. That's, okay. It, it definitely feels like a holiday beer. Bro, that tastes like bitter chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. I mean, I don't. Mind it. So what is the first way we're going to cook a steak and what kind of steak do you have here for us? We got <clears throat> Omaha steaks. We got ribeye steaks, but not the full ribeye. It's the ribeye filet. So just the center. Of the ribeye? Yes. I don't even know what a ribeye is. I just eat Stop. the stuff. Stop, you know what a ribeye is. I just eat the stuff. You know what a, don't, don't, you know what a ribeye is. It's a part of a cow. You know what a ribeye, if I were to show you a picture, what, what kind of cut Absolutely of steak? Absolutely would not. Stop. Bro. I don't even remember where the fly is. You have a steak is. channel, you don't know what a ribeye is? I just eat the stuff. I'm here to eat it. You're here to know about it all. <laughs> yeah, but I, haven't I taught you anything? All I care about is what it tastes like. All right, well, <laughs> the ribeye is one of my favorite, especially the ribeye cap, but this is a filet of ribeye, so there's no cap. Supposedly, this will be very primo. The cap is the fat. No. I know. <laughs> we have to add that on the list, cap of ribeye. We gotta try those. Okay. And 100% guaranteed. I don't know what that All even right, means. So first way, we're just gonna do a traditional. Wait, I'm sorry. So what part of a ribeye is a cow? He never told me. This is why. He always says he tells me, but then he doesn't. <laughs> I'll look it up. I'll look it up right oh, now. Oh, no, no, no. I said, do you not know what a ribeye looks like? I don't know where it's actually from on the cow. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Nick! Oh no, what am I talking about? Sorry. <laughs> Bro, the ribeye, it's the rib. It's part of the rib. No, it's part of the eye. No, ribeye. It's part of the rib. Eye. 
<laughs> you know the tom. You know a tomahawk. You know a tomahawk stick, right? Who's Tom? <laughs> You, hey. know what, you know what? You know what? You know a tomahawk steak, right? The the yeah, fat I've seen meat, it. The it's, bone. Yeah, that's what a ribeye is. It's just thinner. There's a tomahawk. There's a cowboy. There's a ribeye. All the same. I can't. There's a cowboy. <laughs> Guys, can you just inform us down in the comments below? It's the ribs. What? <laughs> the ribs. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm super excited. <laughs> He's so upset, but I don't know why. It's the rib. Brian's yes. right. Oh, he's upset because I asked the comments. That's why. Yeah. You don't believe me? I, no, I, I disrespected the chef. I'll oh, never dare. do it again. Hmm. It's not supposed Are to be that. Are you spraying all oil on that? Uh, yes. No. Avocado oil. Ah. It's got a higher smoke point. Oh. So the, the meat doesn't stick to it. These are, uh, what are these called? I forgot. Uh, Grill. Grill, grill grates oh. on the flat side, on the griddle side, so it gives us more of a crustacean on it. A crustacean. Yes. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but I'm going to go with a more of a crust. So is this steak any good? It doesn't look like it has a lot of marbling. Uh, what is this? It doesn't say what it is. It could be, from the look of it, judging a book by its cover, it ain't prime. What does that mean? It's not even the lowest form of good? Select is the... Is this select? No. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think Omaha Steaks would sell. Garbage? Well, just look at it. Hold on, let me, let me take it out so you can take a look at it. Okay. So... In, hey, can you entertain, <laughs> entertain the people while I cut this open? <laughs> entertain the people. All right, so uh, while he's prepping this, uh, I'll go into my first one, right? So we're, we're, we're talking about three things that... Bro, this knife... Is that sharp? That's sharp. We're talking about three, three different things that uh, changed us as fathers. And so my first one that I'm gonna talk about is your identity changes. But not much. <laughs> the, deep, the, the deep breath that you took before you let that out. Yeah. No, so one of the things that I feel like people don't talk about a lot is how much your identity changes when you're having a child, right? And what I mean by that is there's something about having a child that forces you to reimagine like who you are as a person. I don't know, that, that happened to me. Okay, but who were you before and who are you now? It changed where I put my my values, and okay. it changed where I. Um, I was just asking specifically, like, what was your identity before? Like, I was a gamer, I was a nerd first, and now I'm a. <laughs> you know, I'm I just curious what you meant by. Those like, are just genres, bro. <laughs> just trying to give you an example, bro. Yeah, I'm just trying kidding. to go deeper, not so surface level. Yeah, yeah, deeper gamer. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, I mean, like, for me, before I had a child, I was for myself, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. My identity was for me. My identity was trying to live for myself, if that makes sense. Like, I was doing things for me. I was living my life for me. I was thinking about what was good for me, right? Mm. And then when you have a child, you have to think about this other thing, which is the child. <laughs> <laughs> And then you have to think, well, wait a second, what's good for the child, right? Mm. And I don't think people realize like how much of like almost like a crisis the mind goes through like in a split second when you have a child, right? Now, I think that was, it's maybe more dramatic for people who are, whose identity is maybe rooted um, in the more egotistical way than not, if that makes sense, right? Like if mm -hmm. you're uh, generally a more selfless person. It's not that big of a change. It's not that big of a change. But for me, I was selfish. <laughs> I was very selfish, you know? And like there, I had this child all of a sudden and it was like, wait a second, life's not about me. My dad was well, right. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> you could have stayed on that path. I could have, yes. So some people still decide yes, to stay on that path. that's very true. And, and a lot of people essentially resist the identity change and they flee, right? A lot of fathers do that. A lot of fathers just go, you know what? I still want to just live for me. I'm out. Yeah, I'm right? going to go golf for four <clears throat> hours every Saturday. Exactly. Well, what? Don't you just do that? No. What? Not on the weekends. <laughs> just that? <Saturday? laughs> Wait, why is golfing for four hours on Saturday bad? No, that's part of my job, right? That's part of my nine to five. In that nine to five, yes. I 
golf, right? Yes. I'm talking about like just on the weekend. The yeah, yeah, like on, on your Saturday, Sunday that you have yeah. off, I'm going to be gone half yeah, Saturday, every Saturday. Type of yeah, thing. I get you. I get you. Like choosing to not spend it with your yeah. family. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with golfing for four hours. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Go subscribe. <laughs> Go subscribe to Brian's channel, Exterior Golf. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Where Matt, I still can't believe you beat me in that video. He's never golfed before and he comes and he beats me on the channel. It's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, identity. Yeah, it, it really forced me to look at myself and look at what's important in life through an entirely different lens, right? Like I've always cared about doing what was right, right? But that's not necessarily, that doesn't necessarily mean I was always aware of what was right. Mm -hmm. And having a child, it's like, wait a second. I think it was just a big mirror for you know, how I was living my life and how much I was living my life for me and, and not other people, right? It didn't happen overnight, at least for me. It wasn't like all of a sudden, oh, hey, my identity, it's like, it's like you have to. Oh yeah, you have to go through yeah. a painful process, yeah. trials and errors, and you have to, it's a very painful ordeal. For me, I think it took maybe a year, right? It took a that year. That quick? That quick. Dang. Yeah, but you have to also understand, like m my brain is kind of oriented towards like investigation and deep answer mm. deep answers you know and like i'm constantly constantly searching you know what i mean like i've read yeah. hundreds and hundreds of books just because like that's just i want to find the answer that's yeah. just kind of like an obsession of mine i always want to find the answer hold that thought time for a sizzle I, I didn't show the camera before i sprinkled it with seasoning but you can see there isn't a whole lot of marbling but bro this feels tender oh does it yeah like oh, i'm that's just good. like squeezing it it feels tender. Even though there's not marbling, that's still a good sign. Yeah, I mean like a, fl a filet mignon, right? <laughs> a filet mignon. I'm like act not... acting like this is a doctor's room. That's a good sign, right? <laughs> yeah, like in a filet mignon, it's not always the most marbled look, but yeah. it's still tender. It's a tender piece of meat. Copy that. That's like one of my favorite sounds. I want that to be my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> what was I saying? Painful process. Truth be told, in terms of how long it took me, I would say that's how long it took to stop being painful, but that's not necessarily how long it took for me to just all of a sudden be this great selfless yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, and it's still, no way. And, and as Luna gets older, you have to continue to change. There's new lessons. Less, not only that, but then it's like, she needs to go to soccer practice, volleyball practice. She wants to, you know, this is what mm -hmm. I'm going through is my oldest, two oldest want to get better at volleyball. Do I practice with them or do I, go be selfish and yeah. do something else I want. So they're yeah. sucking up more time, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's honestly so much fun. Yeah, it when, is. And then you we're know? out there playing, you're like, yeah. It's, I think the, the, the interesting thing is, at least my reflection, and you know, you, as many of the books that I've read, all of the, the older, wiser folks always say the same thing. Like, I don't know why it works so much. I don't know why I did that. I, I would have played with my kids more. You know yeah. what I mean? And they always say that every single time. And what's interesting is like in my brain, like two things start circulating, right? One, like I know you're right. It doesn't feel right right now. Yeah. But I know you're right, <clears throat> or there's three things. Two, I actually really wanna go play with my kids. But three, I'm worried that if I don't get A, B, or C done, that something negative or bad will happen. You know what I mean? You try and justify the reasons why you don't do it. Yeah, you, you justify the reasons why you don't do it. And, and furthermore, like even when you're like playing or, or having fun with your kids, you're, you're thinking and you're looking and being like, should I be doing something else rather than just enjoying? Yeah. You know what I mean? At least that's a struggle for me. But like when I do allow myself to just like let go of that noise, I have so much fun and I really obviously enjoy, <laughs> obviously enjoy being a father. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I would say, I would say that's, that's for me. It changed, it like changed my identity in a dramatic yeah. way. I would agree. I like that. I've become way more emotional. You've become way more emotional. Way more emotional. That's true. You never cried. Ever. Crying for the week. Oh no, gosh. Just kidding. You no. say that in jest, but you're getting that script from somewhere. Uh, no, I just never, I just never cried. Like even on my wedding day, I was, I mean, I was emotional. I'm happy. Yeah, but you have cry. to understand that's not normal. What? Not crying. I mean, I never. I, yeah, I didn't say it was. Normal. I mean, between the two of us, I feel like I, ha I feel like there's a medium. <laughs> like, well, I cry every day, and you never cry. You cry every day. I cry every day on my walk to work and on my walk back, cried. No joke. Cried. Really? Yeah, absolutely. 
proud of you, man. <laughs> I just like, That's cool. I'm listening to something, I'm moved, or I'm praying, and I'm like, oh, wow, and I'm moved, or like something happens and I'm sad. Like, I'm just, especially over the past five years of being a father, that has made me more emotional, yeah. too. It's very much been like, I'm just going to let it out instead of collect. I don't yeah. really need to collect emotions anymore. Well, I mean, for me, like, I, part of it is probably how I grew up. Like, my, I saw my dad cry a handful of times. Yeah. A handful of times. And whatever he did, I was like, <laughs> I'm crying with him. I'm like, why are you crying, Papa? So, what? I mean, when, when do you cry? Anything to do with my family, my girls especially. Like, bro, like, I could, before I would watch a movie uh, or, you know, a dad's giving a toast or I can go to any <laughs> wedding and father's giving a toast Father, and, and I'm song. like, all right, come on, dad. Like, let's get the, finish the toast. Now it's like, <laughs> like, I'm just like, oh man, that's so, be-. like, it, it's, yeah, like I get, because I put myself in his shoe, like, <laughs> in his, that's just good. the single shoe? <laughs> just one shoe. <laughs> like, yeah, that's when I get emotion. I'm thinking like that, hopefully I pray that that is one yeah. day I'm giving a toast for my, yeah, at my daughter's wedding. I don't know if I'll be able to make it through, bro. Just thinking about it right now. Oh, you ooh. won't. You won't. And that's okay. Yeah, I'm, I, don't, I, mean, I don't care about <laughs> crying in front of people. but Oh, you must a little. Why? I mean, I mean, think about it like this, right? Like you said when you first became a father, it's made you more emotional, right? So my question is, are you sure you just weren't emotional beforehand? Because like I reject. I express, I express my emotions differently. Okay. I'm just saying I reject the hypothesis that you, you like didn't have emotions before and yet maybe they were just repressed or no, suppressed. No, I, I didn't have, I, the, the crying emotion did not exist in my system. <laughs> I had what does emotions. That mean? <laughs> no, I, like I said, I would let out my emotions in different ways, right? And when I was sad. Oh, like hitting the gym hard. Uh, yeah, whatever. It would, it would come out differently, right? Yeah. Or it just, they're not tears of sadness either. They're yeah. tears of like joy and just yeah. like excitement and, um, yeah, just whenever, honestly, man, I see anything to do with a father and a, like. Yeah, for sure. Like anything like that where I, I look at my friends that have older kids and I'm like, oh man. Like, <laughs> I know, don't like even. That's, like we were with friends. Oh yeah, our, our son's picking us up. I'm like, dang. Like you don't need, an, hey, you're saving money. No more Ubers, right? Yeah. Just call your kid. But it just made me think like, they're at that, like that's yeah. crazy. Like they're kid is picking them up They're, yeah you know it's for it's, sure i'm a both right like i'm excited but i'm also like i don't want it to happen because like i texted amanda yesterday and i was like yo it's gonna be so cool when luna can watch atticus and you can just come get a drink with me after work but then it's like you don't, like you're excited for it but like yeah, it doesn't have to happen right now like take your time oh yeah yeah i mean like i'm excited for it but i'm also like i'm not trying to rush it or anything like that yeah. my kids are just at such a fun and playful age yeah they are <laughs> and, and, just, and that's what and that Oh, you got all the smoke. I saw that. That's what also makes me emotional, too, is when I think and I look back, like, if I'm with, like, hanging out with, like, Atticus and Luna. Yeah. Oh, dang. What? What's wrong? Nothing. Overcooked? No. <laughs> we were talking too much. It's okay. It's still red meat. It's still, still going to eat it. All right, we're going to let it chill for a sec. <clears throat> now, it don't look too bad. I mean, it's not like the typical crust that we get when we do a skillet sear. Yeah. But it's got personality. Dude, I'm hungry too. Bro, me too. All I've eaten is a what have I eaten? <laughs> <laughs> a breakfast burrito. That's all? No, I had a donut too. Who brought donuts? Izzy. Izzy brought donuts. So I've eaten well today. <laughs> really well. So I <laughs> 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 Sorry, I would just, I would, I'm just like slapping some butter on this steak. Slapping some butter on it. Uh, yeah, like seeing like looking at Atticus, or if I'm holding Atticus, I'm like, it felt like not that long ago that my oldest, that's going to be 12 years oh. old. It, and it like, it, it like again, it's not like sadness here. It's like, it's just like, I go back to like yeah. all the fun, like even how Atticus mm. and Luna behave. Like my kids were all like yeah. that age to where, Oh, yeah, now you it's... Know, like, Luna wore jeans for the first time, like, a couple days ago. And I was Bro. Like, I was like, who the heck are you? No, I, I know exactly your, what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Ariana put leggings on. I was like, who the heck are you? <laughs> like, and Sarah and Ariana were standing next to each other. And for a second, I was like, who's this, who's this lady? <laughs> who's this lady? <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't know your friend was over. I've developed the, uh, um, that emotion of, like, joyful tears. Yeah. I mean, I was always, I was never a sad kid, but like, I don't know, it just, 
Those tears. I was a sad kid. <laughs> just, I had a lot of emotions, yeah. but I'm not anymore. <laughs> you just because of kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think. Are we ready to eat? I think so, My bro. My guy? No, bro. Oh, are, aren't you gonna eat too with you me? You eat first. I don't like to eat first. You don't like to eat first? Because if it's bad, then I don't have to. Ta I won't taste it. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Uh, may I have a fork, please? Yes. Ah. I, I touched may. the prongs. Okay, so where? Which way is the grain? I never can know. I never can know. <laughs> I never can know. <laughs> bro, look. I don't know. <laughs> uh, bro, first you don't know what a ribeye is. You don't know. Look at the striations. Which way is it Bro, going? Bro, I just put it in my mouth. I know. I'm gonna go this way. No, 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 no. Look at the striations. Are you sure? The striations are. I don't really know. <laughs> is this a striation going this way? Yeah, you like lines. See that? So you cut against the grain? Yeah. Okay, so I cut yeah. this way. Yeah. Okay. Crisscross applesauce. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna make fun of the way I cut again? <laughs> oh yeah, that's overcooked. No. Nah. Get, get to the middle, bro. Cut the, get to the, just skip okay. to the just, good part. Just skip to the, okay. You go this way. Here, let me see this. Can I just at least get that bite? Okay, okay, we got a nice little medium going on. Yeah, all right, give me half We're good. Of give me half. That's my guy. Oh. Can Did you, you hear, hear that? that hawk cry right as you took a bite? What a majestic moment. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's a good one. I needed this. Oh, that's a good one. With all the crying. Bro, I'm salivating too much right now. Oh, this is so good. I love this channel. <laughs> mm. Me too. It's definitely mm. not a fatty steak. Don't eat too much, because we eat too much. We still got two more. Yeah, but it's not a fatty steak, so I can eat a lot of it. Right? That's what I learned. Mm. When there's a lot of fat in a steak, True. That's when you just get sick eating like even just a tiny little cube. You're like, oh my gosh. Or those Wagyu ones. <clears throat> <I'm> wagyu. <laughs> Bro, that's good. What's this next steak? Next steak we're going to do on the searing station. Where we're going to just, just go yaya on it. Full yaya. Full yaya. Like, I don't know what how is, to describe it. What is that? Is that Gen Z talk or boomer talk? Can't tell. Not Gen Z. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Did you just make that up? No, I got it from someone. I need to give credit to, who was it from? Bobby. I think it's, he said it's it in millennium. baseball. No, he said, they say it in baseball. Like when you're gonna go like go for a home run, go ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Or maybe he said ya. Yeah. I don't know. Ya yeah, ya. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I, I don't know. Bobby. The second thing that I noticed about becoming a dad is very similar to the first one, but your priorities change. Right? And like, while your identity changes and that's closely linked to priority, your priorities change in a big way and you have to actually reprioritize your entire life, right? And as you reprioritize your entire life, um, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> your priorities didn't change? I don't think so. So you always prioritized a kid that you didn't have? I always prioritized providing. <laughs> I think for, for my family. My family was Sarah. I first got married, then we had the first yeah. one. It was it was just providing to more people. So yeah. I don't think it really changed. Well, think about it like this. When we first had Luna, there began to be this new thing called family time, which was, you know, before it was just couple time. And yeah. now there's couple time and family time. And yeah. they're two different things, right? True. And so your priorities change, right? And there's all, there was all often a, at least in my mind, a complexity at the time between, well, wait a second, work's important because I need to provide for my family. And if I don't provide for my family, like that's obviously foolishness. But at the same time, like I need to spend time with my kids, you know, one-on-one -on -one time, but I also need family time, but I also need, you know, couple time. And so I'm like stressing out about like, where do I get all this time? Prioritizing time, I guess is what? Time and energy. You know what I mean? Time and energy. But I, I think like, at least, you know, that was when I first became a father, right? And now as, let's say I'm a father six years now. Luna six? Luna's Hey, bro, six. next year she's gonna be 12. That's what it's gonna feel like. What? Next year she's gonna be 12? It's gonna, when she's 12 years, when she's 12 years old, you'll be like, 
that just felt like a year yeah, ago. Yeah, I know. That's and I, I like I was literally thinking that, you know, as I was saying about how I was talking to Amanda about like we could just go get drinks when Luna can babysit Atticus. And then I was thinking like, oh, how far away is that? Oh, that might be in like six years. And then I'm thinking, she's six. That went by so fast. Oh no. <laughs> and, it, and with the more kids you have, faster it goes, bro. Yeah. Now that I'm a father, you know, a, little, a tiny, 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 tiny bit farther along, um, I'm not as stressed as much. I'm realizing that flexibility is a key tenant of fatherhood. What are, what's the highest need and what's the highest good for my family, right? Mm -hmm. And at a certain point, it might be like, well, the highest good is finance, right? We need to work on, I need to work a little extra to ensure the security and safety um, of my my family. And then, you know, uh, there are other periods where I'm like, okay, my family is safe and secure. I need to prioritize the emotional health or I need to prioritize the, the spiritual health or you the go physical through health. Yeah, you go through seasons. Yeah, you go through, go through modes, seasons. basically. And I'm a lot more at ease now with understanding how to prioritize life based on the, the highest good of the people I love around me rather than what feels good or what I want or, mm. um, you know, because ultimately I do want all those things. It's just sometimes in the moment I don't feel like it. I hear you. I'm about to slap this sucker on. Slap it. I never said what seasoning we're using. We're using Weber's Chicago steak seasoning. Oh, and it's gluten free. I love gluten. Yeah, I've so never this is done. A disappointment. I've never done an open flame <laughs> steak like I've never done it on this. So. Oh really? Maybe. I, not that I can remember. Oh, so you're gonna get like those grill marks. Yeah. Yeah. Like. After a minute, I'm gonna like that's, angle that's, it 90 degrees so you get that crisscross applesauce. Yeah, crisscross applesauce. Not a high sizzle. Well, there's a lot less surface area. I don't know, I'm not super excited about this one. Why is that? I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna, I, I don't know how I it's gonna- I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know how it's gonna cook. It might be too hot. It might cook the outside too much and like burn it. That's my thinking. It might burn it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I never started the timer. Oh, that's smelling good though. No. I can smell it. I couldn't smell the other one. So we're progressing in the oven method. First normal grill here, somewhat similar to the pizza oven, but we're gonna put this sucker on a skillet with butter. That's How do you know, do you get to like, are you, do you have a thermometer in it? No. Oh. It's all right here. Oh. It's all the emotion that it brings out. It's like, yeah, it's time. You can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> oh shoot, I was supposed to twist it. Oh. Oh, that's stuck. Hmm, I don't know, it's burning it. What's the second way that fatherhood has changed you? The second one is just what gets me excited. I'm, a, I'm an athlete, I like to play yeah. sports at a very high level. <laughs> Goes on his channel first time, beats him. <laughs> Super rematch. high level. <laughs> rematch. Rematch. Dude, if I beat you again. You won't. No, see, look, look have, see, it burned it. We have to have some, uh, some stakes on the channel though. Some high stakes. If I go on your channel and beat you again, I never appear on it again, ever. Okay. And then if you beat me. I get your Tesla for. <laughs> Solid did we ever did we ever talk on YouTube about the bet we made? I know we made something similar. What was it about? I already forgot. I, it was at Kevin's wedding. Oh, here's one <laughs> thing you need to know about Matthew. He might say, no, I don't play sports. I don't do the sports. <laughs> but as soon as you give him a s athletic challenge, he like, it like switches it on to where it's like, okay. He, there's this like, it's not the easiest putt to make. It was like a 20 foot putt. And I'm like, all right, this guy, no chance. You make it two out of three times, I will babysit your kids for what? Three times. Three times. Three times. But if you miss, I get your Tesla for a week. A week. Or two yeah. This guy makes it. I was like, my <laughs> my bottom lip was like, I was. Oh shoot. That's gonna be overcooked though. Me thinks. <laughs> it's only two minutes per side. I went three minutes per side, but this is hotter, so the outside might be more. I'm cooked. telling you, dude. Just by the way that thing's shaping, it's like it looks stiff. Look at you, uh, like a steak pro. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's only eighty. Oh, so it's degrees. not even hot. It's not even close. Yeah, I don't All know right. what I'm talking about. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it's too hot. Wait, which way did I pick it up? Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, sure. This way. Yeah, because why would I pick it up like this? Or would I? <laughs> <laughs> Who right, knows? So I've lowered the temperature to about a medium low. Okay. We're going to slow it down, give it a chance to 
core to come up to temp. Because that's the thing, it's too hot, which I'm confused because I, wa I watched some YouTube videos on how to cook it in the pizza oven and make it look easy. But? But. It was at the end of that sentence. <laughs> I don't know what else I was gonna say. <laughs> that's like super high heat, bro. Like my knuckle hairs are gone. So the bet, you beat me on yeah. the channel. You will never come on ever again. I'll never come on again. Ever. I won't ever ask you again, like, please, bro, please. But if I, I gotta make you, sure I don't like golf. <laughs> <laughs> but if I beat you, I get your Tesla. For a week. For three weeks. For three weeks? Yeah, all right. Hey, I thought you were gonna bring it down. It's like, nah, two weeks. I'm like, okay, that's what I want. Three weeks. <laughs> three weeks. Three weeks. That was a soft handshake. That's how you get in their minds, bro. You're like, <laughs> you, you just went limp, dude. <laughs> uh, what, what was my, my second point? Yeah. Person. Man, like, she's got a memory. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> I would have been like, ah. I get excited for the development of my kids. Like, I, I, I don't know the best way to describe it, but like, yeah. I mean, what, I if it was just me, like me, let's say playing with you, like we're gonna learn how to play volleyball together. I'd be like, this is boring and lame. Like, I don't know. <laughs> what the heck, bro? I wouldn't yeah, have yeah. the patience. You wouldn't come from behind me and. Yeah, no, I, mean, I still would, but <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe it other than like, something that normally wouldn't get me excited to go do and spend my time doing, I'm excited to I guess, teach. I guess that's the best way to do it, I, I, the yeah. best way to describe it. I'm excited to teach what I know and yeah. in hopes of them being better than me at it type of deal. Do they want to play golf? No. None of them? They did for a little bit and I'm like, yes. And then they're like, we like volleyball better. I was like, okay. <laughs> Well, you know, at least you weren't the dad who was like, no, you're playing golf. When they're asking me to practice, yeah, and they want to get better, I'm like, okay, it's not just like, hey, you guys wanna go golf? Yeah, we'll go. Like, yeah, I can tell yeah. them now, hey, let's go golf, and they'll go with me. Yeah, but then halfway through, they're like, when are we going home? Yeah, but as opposed to volleyball, <laughs> they're like, hey, Papa, can we go practice? Can we yeah. go play? Can we go? So it's like, oh, like they're more excited for that. So it's Well, like, so in, in their defense, though, there's other girls their age playing. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no other girls their age playing golf. That's not true. No, when they go. True. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> They're just playing with, you know, their old man. It's just, I say it like it is. Bro, this might come out like a brick. <laughs> I know, it's looking like it, dude. It's looking tough. You overcook that? Nah, that's perfect. What was the temp? <laughs> Film it. 120. He lies. We'll just show this side. He lies. He, he overcooks this. <laughs> we won't show that side. I love a good crust, though. That's beyond, I don't think I've ever said this that's, on camera. That's BC, beyond crust. Beyond that's, crust? That's, that's charcoal, bro. I like a good charcoal. Really? I don't, know, I don't know. What's charcoal? So I guess what's changed me, normally I wouldn't have the patience to teach someone a new skill. Mm -hmm. So I guess patience. I don't know. That's so maybe it, you didn't learn patience if you don't have it with me. <laughs> Maybe you just learned it with your kids. Maybe you just love them more than me. I, I How dare that. you? How dare you love your kids more than you love patience me? Patience and, and, yeah, patience, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, yeah. So patience, not teaching. I guess I wasn't sure which one's which, but. Or just love for your kids. Because, again, we just established it wasn't patience. Because you don't want to teach me. Patience for kids. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate milk. No, that's mine, bro. He's drank half my drink after complaining about it three times. Oh, the bottom is not that good. It's warm. That's mostly spit bag. Number two for you. Well, we gotta eat first. Bro, you gotta wait. No, that was number two. I already did number two. Priorities. What was your number two? Priorities. Oh, that's true. My third one is a is a is a banger though. Are you gonna be upset if I'm not like? Oh. No, it's it's good. It's it's uh, God given wisdom, my guy, and it's so simple. Life isn't that complicated when you think about it. You know, life feels really complicated. But, but then Jesus says really what it's about. Love God with all your heart, love your neighbor with all your heart. That's it. That's all there is. That's all he says. I mean, he says a lot of other stuff, but I mean like when they're like, what's the most important of all the laws? And he says those ones, right? Because if you look at the 10 commandments, all of those are about not doing things, right? I'm waiting for you to love on me. I'm your neighbor. I'm waiting for Bro, you. Bro, what do you mean? I bought you steaks. <laughs> I'm cooking you the steak. <laughs> so when you think about it through that lens, right, of like, okay, what does it mean to love God and what does it mean to love your neighbor? Like when you're loving someone else, everything else just disappears. All your problems, all your ailments, all your pain, everything disappears and you focus all your energy on this other person. You turn into love basically. And it's like, a, it's such a healing thing. And so it's like whenever you're in pain, whenever you're um, 
angry, frustrated, depressed, or anything like that, if you can muster up the courage to love someone in your own pain, it heals you. Mm -hmm. Just like steak does. <laughs> Speaking of love, let's cut into that steak. Oh, that looks pretty good. When you cut steak very slowly, it's uncomfortable. I was titillated. All mm -hmm. right, we got a nice little, uh, I would say, yeah, medium, medium rare. That's my Oof. speed. Give me your plateau. Oh, oh! oh man We're good. overboard. We're good. <laughs> Oh my gosh. He right. still gave it to me. <laughs> the one that fell. Oh. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh. I haven't even cut anything yet. Oh, okay, sorry. Go. Every time I cut it, my mouth just waters. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's got that bottom bottom crust, that warm. It's got that warm bottom. Not bad. Not bad. I think I like a little too charcoaly. Yeah. I like the charcoal. Mm, I like the charcoal. That's good. but. Why does it have a different flavor? It's the same seasoning. It tastes like your grill. It's not a bad taste. It tastes oh. more like a, oh. it tastes more like it was cooked on a grill. I was I'm not thoroughly that. fascinated. I was not expecting that. To be honest with you, what, were you thinking, what would happen if you lied to me about this? You wouldn't know. True. Okay. So far, grill or open? Open. You think? Mm-hmm. I love a mm. thick, tough crust. I like to work through my crust. The seasoning was charred a lot more. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I like about it. Mm. Is that it, it's it's like it's got uh, that char broil feel to it. I really want to do a video where um, you slice the top of the steak. I saw this other YouTuber do it. You slice the top of the steak on both sides of it, right? So you have a ton of surface area on the top of the steak, and then you cook it, so it makes a really deep, like thick crust. Oh, like you just I went like like mm -hmm. yeah, like grate it like that. Yeah, exactly. Mm. On steak? Mm-hmm. I've seen it on pork. Pork I saw butt. It on steak. Interesting. Mm. It's a little drier. It is drier. I will say that. You know why? The first bite was juicy. Because the but... juices fell through. Mmm. You uh, making that up? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if it was drier. It's a little drier. Part of me wants to be selfish though and not give it any to the crew. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you I think want some things? Bailey. If I as I more evenly cooked it. I let one side cook a little too it. much. It made it better, but that's pretty good. But I think I like the first one better. Mm. No? Sorry. I don't like, I don't think I don't no? like the crust. But it, it does taste <laughs> good. I think the charcoal was just jarring. I like the charcoal. It's definitely, it's the It's same. fun. Yeah, it's, it's just fun. It's just like a little game in your mouth. <laughs> it is interesting though. Same cut, same seasoning. <laughs> And it tastes different. It's definitely the charcoal, though, is what yeah. gives it the flavor. Yeah, I think I'm not so much of a fan of the charcoal. Mm. I can taste the flavor. I, mm. I think it's bringing the flavors of the seasoning out a little bit. All right, pizza oven time. Okay. <laughs> we got this pizza oven. Why is the pizza oven different? Why is it different? Why is it different than those two? What's the difference? So this is getting like 750 degrees and it's enclosed and it's on stone. So the heat's coming from like all over the place. So it's substantially higher. Here it was just heat from the bottom. Heat from the bottom. Heat all over. But we're gonna cook this a little different. Where? We're gonna put it on there, cook for a minute and a half, flip it, cook for another minute and a half, take it out. I'm gonna chop, chop, chop into nice organized pieces, throw some butter on it, and then put it back in and cook it for another minute or so. Now say all that again, but look me in the eyes. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Have some more milk. Have some more pacha. Have some more dragon's milk. Have some more of your pacha. <laughs> What's pacha? Bottle, baby bottle. Oh, okay. Your joke doesn't play if I don't know the other one. Yeah, words. I know, I realize that. I was like, I'm, he doesn't understand Spanish. I went first the last two times. You go first. Third way that fatherhood has changed you. Um, you got something in your teeth. That's for later. Okay. No, seriously, what were we going to say? It? I don't know. You don't know. You said I had it in my mouth. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's not a sure. It's so tiny that it doesn't matter. So then why'd you point it out? <laughs> True. Because <laughs> I was so trying to help you out. So and then there? I got lazy. <laughs> I feel like I've become also a little more selfish in certain ways. What? Like you talk about, like, because you said in the beginning, like, your identity kind of yeah. it changes, right? Mm -hmm. So it's almost like you kind of don't want to lose, like- You hold on to it a little harder. You, little, you hold on or you, you, or you re I resist 
Mm -hmm. So I guess, self, I don't know if it's selfish, if that's the right word, but it's more like, no, I want to make sure that I still keep my identity. Like, uh, so it's that you of, don't lose yourself entirely. Yeah, or it's like, it, it's, it's, I'm more aware of, no, but I want to make sure I'm doing what I want to do. I want to make sure that, yeah. you know, that, that whole aspect of it to where. Well, I would I'm, say, I would say you, you hit the nail on the head. It, it makes you more aware of your potential selfishness, mm -hmm. right? Well, and that, the reason why I say potential is because, you know, you really have to test it. Yeah. to see whether or not that's selfishness because we often have so many scripts in our head that tell us that we're not allowed to have what we want to have just because we want it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's something that I struggle with a lot where it's like, oh, I, I, I can't do this. I can't do this because I want it. Or it's like, well, wait, that's not yeah. necessarily true. <laughs> yeah, and, and part of it too is like, you know, for example, like golf. I want to go golf. Like why not just bring my kids with me and mm -hmm. share it with them? Yeah, you yeah. Know? whether it's through like video games, I still like to game, but it's, yeah, it's like one of those things where it's like, I forget, like, why not just. Yeah. You forget that there's a, there's a possibility of alignment. Yeah. It's like something we can bond over and even like it's selfish, but then it's like, why don't I just share that joy with them? Like, yeah. It doesn't have to be like a me, like I have to only enjoy like, no. Like, and when I do bring them out with me, oh, it's the greatest thing. Like, I don't care. That, like in a normal time frame, I can play 18 holes, but when they come out, it's yeah. only nine holes, but it's not like I had less fun i probably have yeah. more fun because i'm sharing it with them so i'm a firm believer in the familiar familial hierarchy right in, in that you know god says there's there's man and then wife and then children and i i feel like leaning into that belief has significantly improved my family in that while it's not necessarily a what I want, then what my wife wants, and then what the kids want, it's, you know, that's not sacrificial love, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I think it is important for the children to take a back seat and to um, go through the experience of uh, essentially watching their parents do what they desire to do and bring them along mm -hmm. so that they can so that, that can be modeled for them in their life later. To yeah. be like, oh, it's okay to do what I want so, so long as it glorifies God, so long as it's good, and, and so long as it's the highest good for the family or other people, right? You know, with Amanda and I, I'm often saying like, hey, look, let's go do this thing. And like, you know, maybe Atticus or Luna will be like, we don't want to do that thing. And I'm like, well, daddy and mommy want to do that thing. Yeah. And we also want you there and we desire you and we love you and, and we want you to have fun with us. And it's your choice whether or not you, you want to have fun. But ultimately, I want you there. And uh, this is what daddy and mommy are doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And, and that's what that's part of it, too, is like you can be you with like, and and bring others along, like for me, it's like bring yeah. my family along, bring my kids along, and I'm still mm -hmm. sharing my passion, my excitement, what I feel like, if people would ask me, what's Brian, what's Brian into? Like I can share all yeah. that with them, right? It doesn't have to just be me isolated by myself, which, yeah. you know, it's not good to be isolated anyway, so it's like. Yeah, I was gonna say what you were saying, like be you and, and stuff like that, where it's like, there's kind of both uh, ideas there, where it's like, we aren't really anything without anyone, right? Yeah. Like no man is an island. And that's, that's extremely true where it's like, you can't actually be alone, right? You die. And that's one of the reasons why people as a whole are so focused on belonging. And, and most people deep in their heart have a belief that death comes as a result of lack of belonging. And that's why everyone tries to fit in constantly because it's such an ingrained belief in humans. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Big boy agree. <laughs> Big boy. <laughs> I double agree. I double agree. Oh, Are you ready to cook? No, I'm just going to season it, but why is it? Oh, you punched a hole in it. Smart. Uh, can I get another glove? Por favor. Por favor. It's a random chunk of fat right in the middle of there. I like that. But the thing is, when it's cooked <laughs> so fast, I don't know if it'll render. What does it mean to render? I know what it be means in like Final Cut Pro. I'm honest with you. I'm not 100% sure. Why would you use the word then? Rendering, meaning it'll break down so it's not so... It's oh, more like like bouncy, warm butter, like too much resistance in the mouth. Like yeah, like hard, like like a gummy. You don't want a gummy. You want something that's like yeah, yeah, cotton yeah. candy. I don't know why. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I salivate so much. I only salivate when I hear the word lettuce. There's certain things you should share <laughs> and shouldn't share. Why though? Why though? I why mean, though? Why though? Because you know lettuce is just so juicy. What kind of lettuce? Romaine? Spring? Stop! Stop it! Stop it! I'm gonna be pouring out into my plate. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, my turn, you mean? Yes, your turn. Gotcha. This so, is mind blowing, bro. This is mind blowing. You set the bar so high. I so. set the bar so high. It's not my wisdom. I'm telling you, it's it's okay. given from God. Like I I read about this and I tried it and it was like magic because it's truth, right? That's how truth feels. Like. He's taking a long time to set this one up. I so you are going to be disappointed. I, know, I won't be disappointed. <laughs> Go for it. I'm excited. When, when you're talking about being a parent, right, there's always this challenge between um, authoritarian and empathy, right? There's always this challenge between like firmness and warmth and love and compassion. Right? Like a steak. You want it not yeah, too firm, but you want it nice and right? warm in the center. If we if we look at that as like uh, let's say a one-dimensional line, right? Where do you lean on like firmness or warmth? I I would say I bounce around. You bounce around. Depending on the child, depending on the age, depending mm -hmm. on what they're going through. I don't think you can just stick to the middle to be perfectly balanced. Sometimes they need a little bit more firmness. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they need a little bit more. Love. Yeah, see, this is where I'm gonna blow your mind here. Oh, okay. Right? See. What if we looked at this not as a two dimensional line? Well, you asked me to. I know. I asked, I said, okay. what I said, okay. what if we okay. did? Okay. I gave you the opportunity okay. to be you like, it's, to not, a two, it's right not a one dimensional line. We don't need line. a fight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's already feeling insecure. <laughs> you set me Bro, up. Bro, I learned this you like two months ago. I learned this like, I did set you up. You but did I learned set this up. like two That's months ago. Anyways. What if we looked at it as not a one-dimensional line and as a two-dimensional matrix where one line is uh, firmness, right, authority, and the other line is warmth and compassion, right? Yes. And so if you, if you, if you look at life through that lens, in, even in all leadership, but especially with your children, you can all of a sudden start to see there's four different quadrants, right? And when you have, uh, let's say, when you lack firmness and you have uh, and you have warmth, you're ungrounded, right? Uh, you're you're able to be manipulated. You're you have ruinous empathy. You're like, oh, whatever, whatever you say, because I love you. You know, I'm trying mm. to make you feel good, but you you're you're like a jellyfish, right? With authority and firmness, without any warmth, you get uh, that authoritarian parent that says it's like my way or the highway, mm -hmm. right? It's like this is the way it goes, and I don't care what you think. Right, and basically what that creates is a very hostile environment, right? Where you know the child doesn't feel like they're even loved, right? And then when you go on the opposite end, no firmness and no warmth, that's when you get a parent that's withdrawn, indifferent, right? So that's all pretty toxic mm. stuff. But what does it look like to have firmness and warmth at the same time as if it's not on a one-dimensional um, line, right? You following with me? Are you tracking yes. with me? Yes. If you can comprehend this, not because you're dumb, but because my explanation is terrible, <laughs> then it can like literally change your life and like at least help you with but leader, how does that, leadership. So what's the difference between the line? Well, the line looks at, looks at it's one or the other, like what you were saying. Well, no, you can be in the middle, right? You can... No, the middle is, middle is a little bit of both. It's not fully both. You can be fully warm, and fully firm. Mm -hmm. So the idea of that is that you have a certain set of standards that you adhere to, but when you are holding your child or whoever accountable to these standards, you're still doing it with love, grace, warmth, mercy, mm -hmm. um, and empathy, right? Like those two can exist simultaneously. It's not that big of an idea, but when you, when you break it down in that small little I got it from this book, and now I'm remembering. I got it from this book called Strength and Weakness, right? Um, Andy Crouch, I believe, is the author. Uh, it changed how I disciplined my kids, right? Mm -hmm. Like, when you have kids, you're often thinking about, like, how do I get something from my kids? How do I get them to behave? Mm -hmm. How do I get them to love me? How do I get them to respect me? How do I get them to do what I want? How do I get mm -hmm. them to... Um, get A's? How do I get them to, you know, uh, grow up and be a productive member of society? Like, how do I get things? That's I would say I've typical. Never th yeah, I don't know. If may maybe well, it's, it's, typical, it's yeah, not an intentional yeah. thing. Yeah. It's a very automatic thing, right? Like humans automatically think selfishly. That's just how the human yeah. brain works, right? You have to resist that. So anytime you're not being intentional, you're being selfish, right? That's just the way the brain works. This is about 
what's the highest good for the child? How do I love the child? How do I love them? And love, as you know, you and I very well know, love is not just about compassion. There is a thousand things in love, and discipline is, is a huge one of them. So it's like, how do you, how do you say, um, I'm going to love this child by giving them discipline, but you don't have to be cold. Yeah. Right? And furthermore, you can also fully love a child, and you don't have to be soft. You don't have to be weak. Yeah. Like, you can still stand true to what is right and have empathy and great concern uh, for that softness. Mm. To me, that wrecked my mind, bro. Uh, I mean... I think maybe a different framing of it. Maybe, you know, I never thought of like, hey, it's in this matrix. But I guess in my brain, to discipline my kid is to show love. Mm -hmm. Because if I didn't discipline, you'd be some maniac on the street jumping (laughs) off, you know, whatever, right? And it doesn't have to, the discipline doesn't have to be like, ah, it can be done in a loving way. Yeah, maybe you had it all along. Uh, (laughs) I wouldn't say so. I don't know. But that, so what I'll say about this is that like, when Atticus was like up to two, right? Like he's a boy and boys, or at least my boy, was just much more um, prideful, uh, resistant than, than Luna. Now looking back, I believe all of that was a direct result of how I was parenting. And mm. it was a direct result of, of my authoritarian approach rather than my firmness and warmth approach. The minute I started adding firm, uh, warmth to my firmness was the minute my son, he was just responsive. Mm. He just immediately responded. Kids need to know that you love them and they need to feel that you love mm-hmm. them. They need both. And there's two different components yeah. there. And I think that's just so critical. I think that's just, yeah. I, and uh, you know, one agree. of my mistakes as a father is is like, kind of bouncing between the two and only ever giving them one. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. I see what All you're right, saying. I got this thing heated up. Yeah, I just had a preheat. I'm taking it out. All right, I'm going to slap this sucker so how on. How hot is that? 750 degrees, bro. Woo! Like I've... That is hot. Okay, good luck. This might sizzle as I put it on this plate. Oh, yeah. Thumbnail face. <laughs> Oh, that's cooking in there. Oh, let me start my timer. Atticus now, over the past two months, has changed dramatically as as a person. He's only three, so his brain's very malleable right now. But he's a different kid. Can you teach him to love golf? <laughs> Daddy really desires you to play golf. And so does your tío. I, I just think that that was like, I don't know, there might be people out there struggling with that. You know, parenthood is hard. Right? Oh, for sure. That's the crazy part. Even knowing you still don't do it. Yeah, you don't do it. <laughs> yeah, my conscience is too strong. Like, so if like I know something, I have to do it, and I get obsessive about it. <laughs> like, and then I beat myself up if I haven't done it. Mm. Your brain doesn't work that way. Uh, not I'm not always. saying it's not, a good no, thing. No, 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 no. I'm not. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a good thing. Not always. It's too rigid. Sometimes it's that prideful stubbornness where it's like I know what's good for me, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> but like, I'm not gonna. Like do I know it. eating this donut is not good for me. Yeah. But I'm gonna still eat three of them. See, but the, the thing is, is like my brain's also crafty where it can be like, yeah, this donut's not good for my body, but right now it's good for my spirit. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm I'll like, just, wait I'll a work second, out, I look I'll back work. on that, I'm like, I just lied to myself. I just won't eat a donut for another week after this, but then you yeah, actually eat it two days later. Yeah, exactly. It's like in the moment if I know it's right, but in yeah. the moment if I can trick myself that it's wrong. That's then, the, you can, yeah. de- you, you can just deceive yourself. You're blinded by your own perceptions. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Ooh. All the bias. All that sweet bias from those sweet donuts. I'm nervous. Okay, I'm gonna take it out sooner because it's a thinner steak. Ooh! Did you? Are you okay? Yeah. Hot. I put it in too deep. Hot. Do you need a different tool? You need to not cry wow, about it. Look at that. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Look at that thing jumping up and down. Bro, this it's is dancing. Scary part. Don't put it in as deep as time. Mama. Bro, I got me sweating. I got me sweating? Bro, my fingers. I got me sweating. <laughs> yeah, well done fingers, bro. Do you? I would just say, man, like, it's it's hard to love kids because it, it means you got to stop thinking about yourself. And that's a hard thing to do. And that's pretty much our, our, our battle as parents is to, like, die to the self, so to speak. I mean, it's hard because those kids 
are very selfish. I mean, you know, like I said, it's just human nature. Yeah. And so like you have to almost learn how to love this selfish little blob and be selfless. Damn, cut that out right there, right? What? Call your kids blobs. Well, they are <laughs> when they're like infants. <laughs> just a little blob. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that inside, bro. It's rare. It's rare. But that's the whole point now. Wait, why are you cutting it right now? It's that's the that's the process, bro. Okay. Okay. You're then you're supposed to put it back. Put it back with the butter and let it. Shut up. Sorry. I wasn't saying anything. Bro, I have a feeling this is gonna be excellent. Primo. Primo. Yeah, because that's super. that's what I like to hear. But then again, I shouldn't have said that before I actually did it, because just add if the Lord wills. <laughs> yeah, see, that's. It won't need to be in there that long, so it's just I'm slicing it. Dang, that cooked fast on the altar. I was waiting for some warm butter. So I've now chopped it up. This is pretty rare right there. So things we're gonna throw this back on there. I'm gonna drizzle some butter, all of it in there. Mm, daddy and throw it back in there for about a minute or so. I can eat another whole steak. I don't know what you're talking about. Look at that. All right. There you go. And how long you put it in now? Like a minute, I think. Ah, bro, you put it into a minute and a half before. I say, I say 35 seconds, 45 seconds. What? Because you put it in a minute and a half before and it just totally baked it. Where did I put it in a minute and a half? I thought you put both sides. Minute and a half, yeah. But look how rare it was. Yeah, but it cooked that far through. And if it sees the top of it, I'm telling you. <laughs> so dude. a minute? No, you said a minute and I said less than that. You said 30 seconds. I'll eat it rare. <laughs> Wanna go 30 seconds, take it out. Look at it. More? You might be right, bro. Ah. We're at 30 seconds right now. I'm I'll just... let you make the call. Take it out? Yeah. Really? Bro, that's like hot butter now. It's like hot oil. Don't drop it. Bro, it's popping on my hands. I know. See, now it's good that you take it out because it's like... Dang, I regret making that statement of, I'm a man! You I'm a man! Oh. There you go. See? See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I don't have a fingernail anymore. Bro, that is piping hot. Bro, I think you were right. You know what it smells like? Pizza. Well, it's a pizza oven. It smells like pizza. It does, huh? Oh, but why? Yeah. <laughs> Sam, smell it. It smells like pizza. <laughs> oh, you're not kidding. <laughs> why? <laughs> have, you, have you used this pizza oven before? Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, that's a nice, that's like... It's going to mm -hmm. taste like pizza. Are you going to try it? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was worried I was gonna burn myself. That's my favorite one. Oh my! That's my favorite one. That is my the butter. Oh. It's the butter. Oh! Oh man! It's got a pizza flavor to it. So, maybe, yeah, pizza. <laughs> what did I just say? Oh, this one, yeah. 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 Dipping a little butter. Hot. That's hot. <coughs> okay. Daddy like. Favorite one <laughs> of the three. Dip it in the butter. Okay. That's a whole other experience, bro. Oh. <gasps> Is that gonna burn me, bro? Oh, if you just shove your face in it. Hey, oh, you saved mind. it, bro. 30 seconds. I was just paranoid. I don't know what I'm doing. That was the right call, my man. Nice little dip in there. Ooh, yes. Take a bath. Did you hear that sizzle? That was my saliva that fell on the bath. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Bro, I thought it was just like a party trick. That's legit. 30 sec, bro, I would have overcooked that sucker by like, to yeah. well done. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Cause I saw how deep it cooked. Cause you cut it. I saw how deep it cooked. Look so I was learning like, how to cook if steak. It, it's that thick. That's just my own math. It's food math. Bro, I'm hey, telling you, you I know what it. what it needs to taste like. That's it. Don't we have another one? A test one? We, not to say we need to cook it, but we need to cook it because you can't really re-freeze it. Yeah. Then I say, 
I say, if you're feeling up for it, Brian. I got it all here. Then I, I get to eat this. Cook another one. That's the, that's the crew steak. All right, should we close it out? Let's close it out. Honestly, I forgot we were even filming for a second. I'm just like, <laughs> Guys, let me ask you this. If you're a papa, give me some tips down in the comments below. Genuinely, I want to be the best father, and I know Brian wants to be the best father he can be. Better and than if, Matthias. <laughs> and if uh, you got any tips for us, you put those down in the comments below because your boy will read them. And thank you very much, guys. Uh, go eat some steaks. Bye, steaks. Bye, steaks. <laughs>